This is democracy now, but now we're going to turn with Ro Khanna to the issue of impeachment. So we end today's show in Washington, where the House is holding a historic vote today to formalize the impeachment process against President Trump. The probe centers on whether Trump withheld military aid to Ukraine to pressure Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky to investigate Trump's political rival Joe Biden and his son Hunter, who served on the board of Burisma Holdings, a Ukrainian energy company. Uh, Congressman Ro Khanna, you serve on the House Committee on Oversight and reform. Uh, talk about the significance of today's vote. It's a very important vote. I uh, commend Speaker Pelosi, because we're going to have virtually a unanimous vote among the Democratic caucus to uh, affirm the impeachment inquiry and to set forward the process going uh, forward on how we're going to get to articles of impeachment and have a vote on impeachment. The important thing here to understand is that the evidence is overwhelming that the president was pressuring Zelensky into investigating his political rival. Uh, and it was not just one phone call. What we have seen emerge is a pattern, uh, a conspiracy lasting months to use the United States government uh, to benefit Donald Trump's own reelection campaign. Well, the Republicans, of course, have condemned the entire inquiry, saying it's undemocratic. So could you respond to that? And how do you think Republican members of the House are likely to vote? Well, it hasn't been undemocratic. In fact, the process has been followed uh, in a very, very fair way. The, we have had a private uh, setting for investigations and fact-gathering. In that uh, setting, Republicans have been able to be there. They've been able to ask questions. They've been able to examine witnesses. Uh, the, the reality is they're the ones who have been obstructing the process. Now that the fact-gathering is ending, uh, the hearings are going to be public, and the president's lawyers are going to have due process rights. What is sad, what is so sad in this process is the attack on civil servants that is basically undermining uh, public service. I mean, there used to be a, a stature to serving in government, and it's government that has done so many extraordinary things, from innovation to uh, helping protect uh, American security. And the Republicans have launched a systematic attack on career civil servants to try to defend this president. Explain. Explain particularly around um, the—, the uh, uh, around the testimony of Vindman and the significance of who he is and what happened behind closed doors, if you know, the screaming match that took place as the Republicans tried to use that moment uh, to get at the identity of the whistleblower, thinking it was the whistleblower uh, who he spoke to. Well, Vindman is uh, a patriot. I mean, he is someone who is— uh, uh, won the Purple Heart, uh, who has uh, served this country honorably. And you have the president's allies uh, going on television, uh, accusing Vindman of having dual loyalties, accusing him of conspiracy theories, accusing him of betraying the interests of the United States. Uh, and all Vindman did was comply, uh, as he was legally required to do, with the congressional subpoena, uh, congressional inquiry for testimony. And what he did is testify uh, to the best of his knowledge. So the attack on people like Vindman uh, is an Colonel attack on— He's a lieutenant colonel who Fox is suggesting uh, has committed treason. Yes, and, 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 and this is an attack on people who are not political. They're not people who are uh, being uh, working on Trump or any campaign. These are folks, people who are serving our country. And you've seen now, this is not just with Vindman. This is with people at the State Department. It's with our intelligence officers. It's with career civil servants. Uh, Republicans are basically saying that they're uh, not worthy, they're uh, dishonest, they're unpatriotic. And so I ask you, how, when we're doing this, how are people going to have faith in government? Who, why are the next great scientists, the next great leaders going to to work, want to work with the United States government. What a loss for us at a time when our government really uh, helped create the Internet, helped create antibiotics, helped create uh, sensors, and we're going to now diminish government uh, at a time where we need a strong government partnership with the private sector and research universities for America to compete. So the Republicans, it's not just this president. It's important to understand that they're inflicting so much damage on the institutions of our democracy and government. Finally, will these impeachment hearings be televised? 
Yes, they, they absolutely will. Uh, they will be televised. The uh, testimony will be public, and Republicans will get to ask questions. But I think here's what the Republicans Five are seconds. realizing. We got to leave it the there. The attack on process isn't going to work. They have no defense for the Congress conduct Member of the Congressmember Rokana, thanks so much. I'm Amy Goodman with Nermeen Sheikh.